How pathetic can some people be? Please be patient with me if I'm using your digital camera to take your picture, you know, because I don't know. They haven't standardized the symbology on the digital camera. You know, I don't really understand everything. You know, oh, uh, is the uh, flash on? What's it say? Oh, f here we go. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's an eyeball with a lightning bolt going through it. I... So, I mean, the flash, do, would you need a flash if you're taking close-up pictures in an electrical storm? I don't know. Hit the button. Okay, now it's a penguin on fire. <laughs> would that require a flash? Axe of arson in the Antarctic? Hit it again. Now it's a baseball and a martini glass. <laughs> well, now you take the picture with the digital camera. It's just pandemonium, isn't it? It's always like, okay, everyone smile in. Click. Let me see it. <laughs> Let me see it. What did you do? Let me see it. Let me see it. Take it again. I don't look good. Take it again. You never look good, Jerry. You're an ugly, ugly man. Technology has not gotten to the point where you'll look good in a picture, Jerry. You want to look good in the picture, Jerry? Get the fuck out of the picture, Jerry. You got a mole on your neck the size of my fist, Jerry. And I got big hands, Jerry. Your mole gets red eye. How the f does that happen, Jerry? How? Dumbass of the day. 93.3 KZOC. God, if, have you, you have, if you're laughing hard, it's because you have a friend that just does that. Oh, I, and I don't understand, like, why people do that, okay? Like, literally, I take 20 pictures. Whenever I'm asked to take a picture of somebody, I'll take 20 pictures and I'll say, I took a bunch of them, here you go, one of them should work. And sh that's basically okay. Why are people like, let me see what you, let me see the pictures you took. This is why people don't help people out in society anymore, okay? It's because you're asking too much of others. <laughs> let me see these pictures. So I've had it take, happen before where I take 20 pictures of somebody and I'll be like, okay, I took a bunch of pictures, uh, here you go, one of them should work. And they like, wait, hold on a second. I want to see them. And they'll go through the pictures. I'm like, I don't have time for this. You just asked me to take a picture, dude. I've had this happen with strangers. Yes, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yes, with strangers. It's and they're like, going, okay, this is good. I'm like, oh, thank God. Because I didn't have anything to do today. Yeah, great, because I was just going to stick around and be your personal assistant all day long, dude. <laughs> you know, I'm going to start putting myself in those situations. And then when they start to do stuff like that, just walk away. Deal with it. Or say, oh, wait, hold on a second. Let me see. Oh, you're right. This one didn't turn out good. It smashed their phone on the ground. Sorry. It must must be, be this piece of crap phone. Must be the phone. You should get Step a new on one. It. Oh, this is why. Have you ever been trying to, trying to take an inconspicuous picture or video? Of oh, some, sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm horrible at this. So the other day, this guy was at the Costco. Um, God, he was at the Costco gas line and he was in like a, like a Corvette convertible or something. It's just some ridiculous middle-aged, uh, you know, like, life crisis mobile. <laughs> and the guy had this, like, hat on that was like a rainbow fedora with a... Oh, yeah. With a with a propeller on top oh, of it. Yeah. Like it was a beat. That's a must take right there. <laughs> I was like, God, I got to take a picture of this guy because this is like one of the funniest things I'll ever see. And I'm sitting there, and I'm at my gas pump, and I can't bring myself to do it. I can't bring myself. Are you pumping gas? I'm pumping gas, and I'm, like, looking at my phone, and I'm trying to be all conspicuous, but you're at the Costco line, so that everybody's around you, and they're going to know that what you're taking. Because everybody can see this guy. Everybody knew that, you know. At some point, you just say, screw it, and you take the picture. I can't take a picture of somebody else. <laughs> I can't do it. I, just, I bet you people would have applauded you, like, yes! I know. I wish I would have thought of that. I know, but I just, I can't. Like, I, I've i tried to, like, take video of people all inconspicuous before, and I'll go back and I'll look at the video, and I'll get, like, my steering wheel or, like, my console. I didn't get the video at all. <laughs> like, or taking pictures of the back of some people's cars, like, funny license plate frames. By the way, or, you know you're not supposed to have your phone out by the gas pump because it can create static okay, electricity, whatever. right? Yeah. All right. What do you mean, yeah. whatever? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just just trying to save your life and maybe a few other people that are around you since it is Costco gas. Somebody on the uh, Miami Dolphins organization is very good at taking inconspicuous uh, video. Offensive line coach Chris Forrester has uh, handed in his resignation in the wake of the video that surfaced uh, with oh, him. Really? Yeah. 
No, they're they're uh, they're averaging ten points a game. So what was the deal? I kind of heard a little something in the news. Weirdly enough, won two games this season. But did he get caught doing coke? Yeah, he was he was taking cocaine before a team meeting. So uh, he was using cocaine. Somebody on, in the organization took video of him using cocaine. Well, before what if it wasn't cocaine meeting. though? Because I heard it was just a, a powdery substance. Well, he admitted to the oh, fact. Oh, he did. Okay. Maybe it was, I don't know, I've heard people snorting Adderall. It's Miami, but still. Even if you have a prescription for Adderall, can you crush it and snort it versus, you know, consume it, you know, with a glass of water? Mm. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I, I think that's, <laughs> like, that leads to serious, serious problems. I guess that's a thing like, now. Like, that's West Virginia drug, yeah. drug abuse right The there. millennials, this yeah. is what they do for fun. Nah, they crush up Adderall and they not, snort it. Don't say millennials. I think millennials in West Virginia <laughs> do that. Um, he, he tendered his resignation, saying, I'm resigning from my position with the Miami Dolphins and accept full responsibility for my actions. I want to apologize to the organization, and my sole focus is on getting the help that I need with the support of my family and medical professionals. Apparently, he has a cocaine problem. Yeah, it's kind of a sad story to make this guy dumbass of the day. Isn't it a little insensitive, isn't it, Jeff? Well, um, you know, I... There are two ways to look at drug addiction. He's got a problem. Drug addiction. Yeah, you could look at it as a disease, or you could look at it as... What do you do, walk into AA meetings? As being a bad... Drinking a beer and go, hey, screw you guys. Bad deals. I mean, well, no, you you don't... You're being conspicuous about it. I mean, you know what? This is probably the best thing that could have happened to Chris Forrester, because now he's forced to face his demons. Whereas before, he was just rolling along as the offensive line uh, coach of a team in the National Football League. But this just screams organizational ruins down in Miami, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, they're already having a lot of problems. I mean, you just have all kinds of stuff going. In the video, um, he was shown snorting the cocaine and then bragging about doing the cocaine before the meeting. Yeah, let's go to a meeting! Yeah! I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! <laughs> He looks like one of those guys, too, by the way. Um, the, let the, me ask you this. The, the woman who released the footage said her decision to expose Forrester had to do with the way the players have been treated for protesting the national anthem. Adam Gase. What? Adam Gase. I thought it's Gacy. It's Gase. Okay. Thank you, because I've been calling him Gacy oh, this whole time. <laughs> like John Wayne? Gacy? <laughs> yeah, like John Wayne Gacy. Oh, no. Okay, it's just Gacy. Yes, it's Adam I thought Gacy. there was an accent over there. Adam league. Gacy has told players to either stand in the tunnel or stand for the national anthem. Okay. That there would be no protesting right. of the national anthem. So the woman is like, well... So she thought she'd take it out on this other assistant coach? She's like, she's like, you know, you guys have bigger fish to fry than players protesting the national anthem when your offensive line coach Bitch. is celebrating a line before going to the O-line meeting. Was he still doing his job okay? Okay, no. no I know. No. This is a bad drug. Okay, ten, it's illegal. Ten All points that. per game. Can't have that drug in. But my question is an ethical is... question for you. You ready for it? Do what really kind of person say... does it make her for it secretly recording him? How conniving is that? And then turning him in. Not ethical, but here's the thing. is is Like I said earlier, it's probably the best thing that could happen to him. He's obviously got a problem. That's how we look at this. Nothing to do with her or it's, whoever this person is. She's People not, that secretly she's not, record you. She is not somebody I would trust myself around, okay? Let's just put it that way. If, if she's around, I am not saying anything weird. I am not saying anything off color. I am making sure I'm watching my P's and Q's. I don't want her around. I'm trying to get her fired now. Um, you can't trust her. You can't relax at work because you, you never know when she's coming for you. Just don't do cocaine at work. You're fine. <laughs> what if you're selling paper clips? Because you're into making things out of paper clips. And next thing you know, she's got a video of you and the boss going, hey, Jeremy's taking those paper clips. It's a I told you. It's a surveillance so society we live in. I'm that. sorry. It's no. so disturbing. So oh, yeah. <laughs> Just no, play a little know. bit of it. Just I don't play know a little bit of it. Like, can we just put it online and say it's there No, online? no, 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 no. you got to play a little bit of it. Just, Why? Just the part where he's talking to the girl because it's super creepy. So we're talking about this guy. What's his name again, Chris the coach? Forrester. Forrester. This is the guy that was caught uh, sniffing a little coke before him, a team meeting. So he actually and we, made... we, I thought somebody was like, no, you know, yeah, hitting so camera, but no, but he made a video. He's the one that recorded the video and then um, passed it along to what sounds like maybe... Some woman. A love interest of his. I, and she's probably the one that turned it in then, I'm guessing. Because she's like, dude, this guy's way creepy. Because listen to this. This is creepy out. Hey, babe. Miss you. Thinking about you. 
How about me going to a meeting and doing this before I go? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> meeting, yeah. <laughs> There's those big brains falling, but I miss you. I miss you a lot. <laughs> what do you think? Crazy? I uh, know, babe. It's gonna be a while before we can do this again. Because I'm not gonna keep that baby. But I think about you when I do it. How much I miss you. How we get together. How much fun it was. So much fun. The last little bit before I go. Okay. <laughs> That's a creepy. <laughs> It's like any time you talk like she did. Nothing, like nothing, that. like nothing tells the woman that you love her like uh, doing yeah. three lines of cocaine before going to work. Oh, I do it for you because I think about you all the time, baby, and I just can't. Mm. When I see we do this so well how together. crazy people leave, live their lives makes me feel like the most boring p- person on the planet. When I hear people whisper like that, it realizes how creepy they sound. I'm not whispering anymore. <laughs> Whenever we go to bed, I've always I'm like, come on, can we just can we just use like our six inch voices? I always tell my wife because she talks so loud and I'm trying to go to sleep, and then I start whispering to her and she's like, stop it, stop it! I don't like it when you whisper. <laughs> I'm like, why? What's wrong with the way I'm whispering right now? Because the only time people whisper is like when other people are sleeping or when they're getting ready to choke you. <laughs> are you posting this? Can people watch it? Yeah, it's on our it's on our social media feed. It is not safe for work though. So I mean, you know, if you're at work right now, plug in the headphones. <laughs> Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on ninety three point three KZOZ.